Hey everybody, today we look a little different. We've got our masks on. And don't worry, we're at home. We don't need to have our masks on. But I thought I'd have a little bit different type of a video about why you might feel like you're suffocating when you have a mask on. And then my son Emmett, he wanted to be in today's video modeling his mask as well. And he's gonna help me with some of the, uh, the exercises that we're gonna do today. So when you have a mask on, it provides this barrier and increases resistance as you inhale and then pull air into your lungs. To get air into your lungs, your diaphragm muscle, which is this huge dome-shaped muscle that goes right about here, it has to contract. And when it contracts, it depresses down like this, changing the pressure in your lungs and then drawing air in through your nose or through your mouth and then into your lungs. As you exhale, that muscle relaxes, pops back up, and then the air comes back out. Now, um, if you can imagine, um, if you were trying to breathe, let's say if you're really congested and had a cold, not coronavirus, of course, uh, you just had a regular common cold, um, it gets more difficult to breathe in and you feel like you're suffocating a little bit and that's what kind of drives you to go find a Kleenex and blow your nose and try to open things up. When you've got a whole bunch of boogers in your nose, it increases the resistance and makes it harder to breathe. This mask is basically doing the same thing. Now, the longer that you wear a mask, the more you're gonna get used to it, number one, being on your face. Right, Emmett? Yep, it doesn't itch as much anymore. My body kind of tunes it out, just like it tunes out wearing a shirt, wearing shorts, or, or things like that. And then the other thing that happens is that you're gonna, your diaphragm muscle is gonna get stronger the more you get used to breathing through a mask. Just like using weights and uh, doing any type of exercise, the more you do it, the easier it becomes. So the easier it's gonna become for your lungs to draw that air in through that resistance in the mask. It's kind of like if you're trying to breathe through a straw. Um, it's more difficult, right? Because you're trying to pull that air through that small, that small space. But the more you practice, the stronger that muscle will get and the easier it will be and the more comfortable you're gonna feel in your mask. So now that I've talked for several minutes with my mask on, I'm actually gonna take the mask off. Emmett, you could take your mask off too. All right, and we're gonna demonstrate just a couple of exercises that you can do um, when you're not wearing your mask to help increase resistance and strengthen your diaphragm so that when you do wear your mask, it's that much easier. So the first exercise we're going to do, that's right, thumbs up. The first exercise we're gonna do is a crocodile breath. So we're gonna lay on our stomach like this, and then you're gonna put your hand on your head. Now what's happening here is I've got the pressure of my body weight against the floor that's gonna increase the resistance, make it harder for me to breathe in. So I'm gonna breathe in through my nose, nice and slow. And then out through my mouth. So in through the nose. Out through the mouth. Now when you got a general feel of how that exercise is and how it feels to have that pressure on your lungs, now you want to focus on it when you breathe in, breathe into your belly, breathe into your flank or the sides, and then breathe into your lower back. So when you breathe in, you want to picture your low back and your flank expanding and getting bigger. Let's demonstrate this from the side, okay, Emmett? Okay, so we're going to turn to the side here. So watch my low back as I take an inhale. So here's my inhale. And then my exhale. I'm sure you saw the contrast between my shirt and the wall. When I take that deep inhale in, you see some expansion happening. And as I exhale, everything comes back in. So that's the first type of exercise that you can do to increase your strength in your diaphragm muscle. Now, another exercise we can do um, is actually putting like a weight or something on your stomach and then you're breathing into the weight. Um, let's see, Emmett, can you go grab me a 15 pound plate? Yep. Okay. So he's going to go grab just like a basic weightlifting plate here. 
Um, if you've got a sand weight, you can use that. If you've got, my kids are a little too big for this, but if you have a toddler or an infant, have them lay in your belly. You just need something with a little bit of weight. Oh, that's 10 pounds. No, no, I'm just gonna add. Okay, get us 15. 15. Just one moment. Here it comes. Okay. So I might go ahead and bring that plate on over. Don't drop it on my face. Put it right here in my belly. Okay, so I got this weightlifting plate here on my belly. And then I can do a similar type drill where I'm inhaling. And as I inhale, I think about my plate moving up towards the ceiling. So just like this. And then exhale. Inhale. And then exhale. Hopefully you guys were able to see that despite Emmett laying in front of me here. So that's just another version of adding some resistance and helping you strengthen your diaphragm muscle. So what I would suggest is if you feel like you're suffocating in your mask and you need some practice on this, maybe start doing these drills, maybe anywhere between uh, five to 12 repetitions in the morning and then the same at night. And then as you get stronger and stronger, then you can add more weight on your stomach or maybe more breaths, or maybe trying um, to do the same kind of diaphragmatic breathing while uh, you're, you're exercising and doing some of your core exercises, things like that. But if you do have any more breathing or diaphragm strengthening questions, please let me know. My email is drerin at ducatchiropractic.com.